Hi book buds! Welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Mackenzie and I love books. You are in for a very special treat because this week I am releasing a video every single day, one for each month of this upcoming year or I guess this year. Happy January 1st! Happy New Year! So this week I am doing a video every single day going over the new releases for this year that I am most excited to read. So today I'm going over January reads, tomorrow I'm doing February reads, the day after we're doing March reads for this entire week. So you've got a new video every single day. I already know that this is going to be a very very long one because as always I have a lot to say. So we're going to jump right into it. So the first book I wanted to talk about is Love at First Spite by Anna E. Collins and this book comes out on January 4th. It is her debut novel so it is her very first one but based on the reviews on Goodreads and stuff it is supposedly pretty good. So far I have my computer here to help me out because None of these books have been released yet. I haven't read any of them, so whatever it says is what I'm saying. Um, but it is rated 3.69 stars, which is pretty decent, especially for her first debut novel. It is for fans of Emily Henry, so she wrote Beach Read and The People We Meet on Vacation. So if you like her, apparently you will like this book as well. Uh, it is an enemies to friends to lovers, so it is a romance. It is a fast-paced story and it is a rom-com grumpy sunshine. So it has a lot of my very favorite things, grumpy sunshine, romance, all of those jazzy things and it is coming out in the next couple of days. You're going to want to get your hands on this one ASAP. That I promise. January 4th, love at first spite. Okay, next up we have Vacations Like This by Karina Taylor and this is the fourth book in a series but each of the books are standalone novels. So, you know when authors write romance books and each one is a standalone novel but all the characters intertwine? This is one of those things. So all of the characters intertwine but you can read this one as a standalone novel. It is a forced proximity, roommates to lovers, dual POV, and it is the standalone number four in the series. So it is a rom-com. It is also coming out on January 4th and I am very excited about this. On Goodreads this one has 4.15 stars for the people who early reviewed it. So I'm excited about that. That's a little bit higher than um, Love at First Spite but both of those are pretty good especially for new novels and novels that haven't been released yet. So both of those are very good. That's very high on my list. I'm excited to read that one. Next up we have Weather Girl by Rachel Lynn Solomon and this has 4.26 stars on Goodreads. And this is a book that a lot of people have reviewed so far because it's on NetGalley so there are people who like get books early and are able to read it and review it. So this one has a lot of reviews and they've all said 4.26 stars. That's the average which is again very very good. This one comes out on January 11th and if you liked, if you read and if you liked the X talk, this is the same author as that. So that is something to keep in mind. I've heard that it's like parent trap vibes. So it's like uh, the TV meteorologist and sports reporter scheme to reunite their divorced bosses with unforecasted results in this charming romantic comedy. It reminds me of Set It Up too. If any of you saw that Netflix show Set It Up, it was a movie actually, but if you saw Set It Up it reminds me of like those kinds of vibes or like the Parent Trap vibes with Lindsay Lohan. I love Lindsay Lohan. That was such a good movie. Oreos and peanut butter. That's my vibe. Um, has nothing to do with this. It's it's those vibes but it's it's a different story. But it's those vibes but with spice just a little bit of spice. I'm excited about that. 
Um, in terms of representation, we have some Jewish rep for both the hero and the heroine. And there is a fat hero, which is awesome to see uh, representation of that as well. And there is mental illness representation. Uh, one of the main characters has depression and is going to therapy and is on meds for that. So there's that representation as well. And I really like to see those all from a positive point of view. Jewish, fat, mental illness, all of these from a very positive and good point of view. I really like representation in general and this year I said that I wanted to read more representation so this still seems like just based on like the cover and stuff it still seems very like mainstreamed but knowing that there is at least a little bit of representation in there makes me happy so I'm excited about that. I haven't read it yet so I don't know how true this is but hopefully that representation is in there. So if you are into weather puns, parent trap vibes with spice, The Weather Girl is coming out January 11th and you should check it out. Next up we have The Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sulin Tan. I'm really excited about this one simply because it is a fantasy novel and it has a lot of representation and I'm 100% sure that this is a lot of representation. Um, on Goodreads it is rated 4.39 stars. There aren't a ton of reviews in there yet but there have been a couple so far of authors and stuff like that who got their hands on an early copy. Now this book is coming out January 11th. It is an adult fantasy novel but it has like some YA tropes and themes in there. It also is the first in a duology. So this will be the first book and the second book is coming out at a later date. I don't know when that is yet, but some other time. It includes a lot of Chinese mythology and has a fierce female character as the lead. So I'm really excited about that. We've just got a lot of representation in a lot of different ways. And I love that. It is a friends to lovers to enemies as well. So you got that just added in, but it is mostly a fantasy novel and um, it is written by a female Asian author. So representation all across the board, it's fantasy, it's a little bit of, um, it's a little bit of romance in there too, but representation, fantasy, romance, everything I'm looking for and more, January 11th put it on your calendar. Next up we have Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly and this one is rated 4.26 stars on Goodreads and honestly I'm surprised at all of these that I've been talking about so far. They all have such 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 high ratings which is shocking um, especially for books that haven't come out yet so very high ratings for this as well. This is coming out on January 18th and it is written by a queer author and has queer representation. We have a non-binary character so that is really great to see and it is a friends to lovers grumpy sunshine and close proximity. It is said to be the first openly non-binary contestant on America's favorite cooking show falls for their clumsy competitor in this delicious romantic comedy debut that is both fantastically fun and cracks your heart wide open vulnerable. So if that's something that sounds good to you, pick it up. I'm picking it up for the representation alone. Love queer characters, love queer authors, love that. It's a debut novel. There's banter, it's close proximity, grumpy sunshine, it is everything that I want and more and it is coming out January 18th in just a few weeks. So it is on my list. Is it on yours? If not, put it on there. Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly. Also coming out on January 18th is Cream and Punishment by Susanna Nix. So far has 4.14 stars on Goodreads. There honestly isn't a lot on there about this one so far. It's a second chance romance. There's co-workers involved and it is the King Family number two. So it's the second book in a series but it is a standalone I believe. So again different characters in each book and it's a standalone. You can read it on its own but the characters intertwine. So 
that's all I know about this one because there really are no reviews. I don't know a lot about this, no matter how much research I did. I don't know. So I'm kind of going into this one blind. This one also comes out on January 18th. It'll be a toss-up of whether I like it or not, what it's about, all of that, but it's a romance, so I had to add it to my list. Also, coming out on January 18th, we've got a lot of books coming out on January 18th, but also coming out on January 18th, we have How to Love Your Neighbor. And this one is by Sophie Sullivan. It has 3.65 stars on Goodreads, so still very good. And it's a romance, so I'm excited for that. It is Grumpy Sunshine, Enemies to Lovers, humorous, heartwarming, a little cheesy, but we all love a little bit of cheesiness. It can be cute, it can be cheesy. That That's fine by me, I'll take it. Um, it is a little bit of a slower paced book is what I've found, but that's fine by me. Uh, I like to have variety, some fast paced, some slow paced. This will be a slow paced book, that's fine by me. And it has HGTV vibes is what I've been told because it's like fixing up a house and stuff. And if you know me, which a lot of you probably know, which is fine, but if you know me, HGTV is my thing. Love it or list it, uh, chef's kiss, all of those like fixer upper type vibes. I love HGTV. So if there are HGTV vibes at all, I will be there. So January 18th, you know what I'll be doing. I will be grabbing this entire stack of books off of the shelves and reading them. I am busy that day. Do not call me. Do not text me. I will be reading. Next up, and the last book that comes out on January 18th that I'm going to talk about, is Icebreaker by A.L. Grisaldi, and it is rated 4.43 stars on Goodreads so far. So, very good ratings. I will say this is a YA book. So this is a young adult book rather than like a new adult or an adult book. So it is aimed a little bit at the younger audiences, but that's fine by me because it is a romance enemies to lovers book and it has bi representation. So it is queer like me and I'll take it. If there is a book coming out this year that is queer in any way, shape, or form, it is on my list. You will be knowing about it. I will be reading it and I will let you know. This is queer. It is coming out January 18th and I will be reading it. Do I care that it's a YA book? No. It is just something for you to know. If you care that it's a YA book, that's your own thing. But YA book, queer, very excited. Also, it's a found family and I, uh, there's just, there's something about it. There's something about found family that just touches my heart every single time. I have a found family. I have an actual family too, but like found family and there are certain people that I just love in a different way. And this is that, this is that, this is the found family that I have been craving. I love those types of books. So found family. It's a hockey romance so it's sports and it also has representation for a main character with depression which I also have. So this I feel like this book is just going to shatter me in so many different ways because I relate to all of these things. Being queer, having depression, like just a found family all of those things and so I just feel like this is going to shatter me in a million different ways and whether I'm ready for it or not is a whole nother story but I'm very excited. January 18th, Icebreaker, A.L. Grisaldi. You should read it. Okay, next up is a book that I honestly don't know a lot about. This is Temptation by T.K. Lee. I don't have a lot of information about it. It's a five-star rating right now on Goodreads because there's only four ratings so not very many people have read it. It comes out January 24th and it is a spicy age gap romance and I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I'm not sure if I'll read it or not but I do really enjoy some of TK Lee's other writing. I've read The Dating Game and I really enjoyed that so I wanted to add it to my list. Maybe I'll read it, maybe I won't. It might sit on my shelf for a little bit but um 
something I'm excited for nonetheless. Now, this next book is a book that has been widely, widely talked about already, and it has not even come out. The Roughest Draft by Emerly Wibberly is coming out on January 25th. It has 4.02 stars on Goodreads and it has 195 ratings already. So again, a lot of people have probably gotten an early copy of this, read it on NetGalley, whatever. But widely talked about, very high ratings. I'm excited. It's a book about writing a book, which is a little wonky, but I'll take it. And this is the same author of Isn't It Romantic? So there is that as well. It is a contemporary romance and it is like it's set in present day but then there's also like several flashbacks to earlier in like their own years and stuff. So I think that it's going to be interesting to read this one because I'm either like a it has happened now, it is it is currently going on, or it happened in the past, it is over but I'm not both. So I think it'll be interesting if I decide to pick this one up because there are several flashbacks of what happened in the past as well as like the present day. So that'll be interesting. I'm excited for it. It is coming out January 25th. A lot of people have read it. Have you? Is this on your list? Let me know. I'm down to my last two books that are coming out in January. So this next one, it's called Her Hidden Genius by Marie Benedict. And it is 3.99 stars on Goodreads. This is something that is completely out of my comfort zone, but it is something that sparks my special interest. So one of my special interests is science, specifically biology and genetics. And in high school, I took a genetics class and it was my favorite class of all time. It still is my favorite class of all time. I love it. I met my best friend in there. Hi, Erin. Erin is my best friend. Um, I have a lot of best friends, but she's one of them. And I love genetics. So this, this is about Rosalind Franklin. And Rosalind Franklin is like the person who discovered DNA, but she didn't get any of the credit for it. Other people like stole her work and then she died. I don't know if that tells you anything about the story. I don't know if they're gonna like tell it that way. Maybe I just spoiled the ending. I don't know. I haven't read this before, but like I know the story of Rosalind Franklin. I know like how that like happened, but I'm very, very excited. It's genetics. It's, it's exciting for me. So, um, it's about Rosalind Franklin. Love her. Love that. Love to see it. It is about like women who don't get credit in the science world and just in general. So, you know, feminism. And it is a historical fiction and science book. So, I think a lot of it is going to be based on real life and like what actually happened, but it's also like not actually what happened because we don't know word for word what happened. So I don't know if I just spoiled the ending for you. I don't know if she dies. I don't know if she gets her representation in the end. I don't know how she handles it or anything, but it comes out January 25th. I'm really excited. It's probably going to be something that I won't be able to read simply because my reading level isn't quite there, but it is definitely 100% a book that I am going to buy, even if it just sits on my shelves. I'm buying this book. I want this book. It is everything I want and more. I, I'm so excited. DNA, Rosalind Franklin, Queen. I love her. I, that's it. That's it. I just, I love her. We'll, we'll have to move on. Moving on. Okay, so the last book that I am going to talk about today is Something Fabulous by Alexis Hall, and it has 4.33 stars on Goodreads. So Alexis Hall has also written boyfriend material, so if you've read that, this is her next book, but it's not related. This is a romance, queer, witty, royalty type of book, and it is coming out January 25th as well. If I, I really want to read the good reads on this. So it says, it is a delightfully witty romance featuring a reserved duke who's betrothed to one twin and hopelessly enamored of the other. So if that little like blurb doesn't give you enough, doesn't make you want to read it, that's your own problem, but I'm reading this. I loved Alexis's Hall's other book. Wow, Alexis Hall's other book. I loved Boyfriend Material. That was a good book for me. I'm really excited to read this one. It's coming out very soon. It's cute. It's royalty. It's queer, like me. So all things I love in the world. And that is it. That is the last book on my list. I have to look at my computer because 
that's my last book on my list. So you've got a handful of books that are coming out in January. Let me know if any of them are on your TBR. Happy New Year. Today is January 1st. So some of these might be out already. If you have any of these already, if you've read any of these, if they're on your TBR, let me know because I want to know how they are, if you would recommend them or not and stay tuned come back tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going through all of the books that are coming out in February of 2022 so I'll see you then bye